what's up everybody, Mike here with another video for ya, and uh, I'm gonna give my simple opinion on this, uh, does the world need Optimus Prime? It's been going for about a week now, and I thought I'd jump in before, you know, it gets too old. And this was started by, uh, John of the South 86, and, uh, I mean, it's a good question. Basically, what he means is, um, do we really need Optimus Prime? in the Transformers, like, in the series, like, over and over and over, or can we, uh, can we get somebody else in there to maybe fill in the role of leadership, or, or do we need Optimus? I mean, do we rely on him? Do we, um, you know, is, is he the only, only reason why we watch Transformers? And for me, I think, I think he, um, People identify with Transform with Transformers better if they see Prime in it, or, or maybe even Megatron. But to me, it's it's hard to identify with Transformers if Prime is not there, and that's only because he's been in it for so many years. I mean, from the very beginning, we've always had an Optimus Prime or Primal or or you know Convoy, whatever you want to call him. He's always been there. At least, you know, the shows I've watched. I don't know about any of the Japanese shows or whatever, but all the American versions of Transformers, there's always been an Optimus Prime. And and now that we're, what is it, 26 years into it, it's, it's hard to say, you know what? We don't need it anymore. We can just throw it away and bring in somebody new. It's, it'll, it, if, if they do that, it'll be really hard to pass is believable. I mean, they would have to find a really good reason, and they would have to bring in somebody, um, maybe like an Optimus Primal, somebody who I think is more in depth, has flaws, who's really not that good of a leader from the beginning, and then he grows into a heroic character like Optimus Primal did. Uh, maybe that'll work. I mean, it did work with Beast Wars. Uh, I, when I first started Beast Wars, I wasn't sure of Optimus Prime. I was like, Prime is a monkey? What? Then I, you know, saw the show and realized, oh, it's not Prime. It's a different, it's a different guy. But I don't know. It would be really hard to just make. I mean, it it really didn't work with Rodimus Prime, and that was back in the beginning. Now we've we're 26 years old with Transformers, and you know, Prime is in everything and I don't know I personally don't mind it what I would love to see them do with Prime though is give him more depth I mean they always make him this one-dimensional heroic character that is just perfect to the letter I mean he's just nothing's wrong with him he's, he's a perfect he's a perfect old soul yeah, he's a, you know, nothing does nothing nothing wrong you know and um I, I think give I give Prime some dark backstory, give him some depth, give him you know I, I mean animated did that pretty well. I'm not a fan of an, the animated show. Um, I thought it was too. Uh, I thought it was at times I thought it was just too silly, and and, and took itself too serious or whatever. It just wasn't that good of a show. But Prime in it, he was. He was young, and he wasn't Supreme Commander. Magnus was, and you know, Prime had some troubles. He wasn't the best leader. He was still learning, and you know, go from there. I mean, that's the best way to go if you want to reinvent Optimus Prime instead of having him be this one-dimensional character like he was in G1 and in the movies, the live-action movies. Um, but... I think it's, I really think it's too late to start over and with a brand new leader or, or anything like that, you know. They tried it back in 86, it failed miserably. Nobody liked it. So I doubt they would like it nowadays. I'm, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, you know, whatever, but I prefer seeing Prime, Megatron, as the leaders of the two factions. So, 
Uh, like I said, mix it up a little bit, you know, change their characters around from, you know, give them, give them depth. Uh, so, that's my take on it. Simple opinion, not a whole lot, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's good old Night Slash 2020. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, you guys have a good day.